Once Ashley and Autumn complete the cleaning of the brick border that's just been laid, the outside surfaces will be complete. We've already made a big difference in how the family will be able to use their backyard. But wait until you see the very simple kitchen that we're about to build right in this area. We're going to use treated 2x4s, cement backer board, and split brick that matches the existing brick. We'll end up with a very functional kitchen using their existing grill and topping it all off with a nice granite countertop and it'll look like it was built when the house was built two years ago and I hope you'll tune in next week to see the completed project right here on today's homeowner. I'm Danny Lippert. We'll see you then. Bye. But before we can start that process, the stone countertops arrive and everybody's mood lightens. There it is. Wow. I love this finish. Beautiful. The stone Autumn chose is from Brazil, and it has a matte finish rather than a polished appearance. It really does fit in perfectly with the rest of this space, and the guys who are installing the stone are sweating all the details to make sure Ashley and Autumn aren't disappointed. The granite is so pretty. I love it. We picked the perfect granite. Stone fabrication and installation is a trade that requires a variety of skills and lots of precision. So it's important to choose someone who's qualified. These guys are MIA accredited, and they not only secure the tops to the cabinets and mix the custom color epoxy to join seams together, they have to make precise measurements and cuts in an extremely hard surface to accommodate the grill and side burner. Not to mention installing the undermount sink and drilling that faucet hole in just the right spot. Those guys are amazing. They cut the holes exactly like I want them. I'm so excited. It looks beautiful. Now this project was a little larger than we normally feature here on the show and that's why we did the two different episodes so that we could show you all the different elements that were involved in creating this beautiful outdoor space. Now if you're about to pour some concrete, whether you do it yourself or hire someone to do it, you know what's involved in the process. And I'll tell you, speaking of process, we were surprised at how easy it was to build this outdoor kitchen just using treated 2 by 4 cement backer board, and the split brick. It took a while, but it really turned out nice. And of course, the natural stone countertop is the perfect countertop for an outdoor kitchen like this one. And then to be able to take just a standard standalone grill and to adapt it a little bit to make it look so custom and so built in is a great economical way to develop a beautiful kitchen just like this one. I'll tell you what, Ashley and Autumn are set up for some real family fun. I think it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with the way the grill got uh, built into it and the side burner. I think it looks fantastic. I'm really excited about the brick, um, the way that it's uh, built into our house. So it looks like it's been there forever. Nobody would ever know that we added it later. Of course, I'm happy to have the extra patio space so we can actually use the kitchen without having to work into our eating area. Um, so I like the separation between the kitchen and the dining. Um, so I'm really excited to get to use it every day. I think you'll be doing a lot more cooking. Yep. Well, it makes the space easier to use is the big thing. You know, we had the grill already, but we didn't have the counter space, didn't have the sink. Having those there ready to use is just going to make it so much easier to cook and take less time running back and forth. We can actually use the fire pits. Um, we can sit together as a family in that space. See us getting to hang out together while he cooks or while we all cook together outside. Um, kind of prepare things in the kitchen and then go out and cook and play and, and then sit down and eat together. These guys aren't just having fun together now, they had fun while we were working on it as well. This is a great example of how to do home improvement right. Ashley and Autumn wanted this outdoor kitchen for a long time, but they didn't just wait, they planned ahead to make the project easier. And when the opportunity presented itself, they worked as hard as necessary to complete it while still enjoying each other's company in the process. I think there will be a lot more evenings like this in their future.